so Felstein, and today's video we're getting a bunch of fall palettes that are perfect for the current season. And one of the palettes I did use to create this look, which I still need to go post over on Instagram, so if you guys saw that look there, I was using one of these palettes. Actually, it's using two of the palettes. I kind of mixed two together. But let's jump into it. So the first palette is actually a dupe for another palette on my list, but I don't have that palette in front of me. This is the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette, which is dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills. Modern Renaissance. This palette is $5. I have all the prices over here. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance is $42. And you get these two tones. This kind of has like the berry tones and then just a bunch of earth tones in it, which is perfect for the season. So that's the first palette in mine. If you guys remember from the video where I reviewed it, I dropped it and cracked it. But overall, it's still fine, so that one's good. This one is a limited edition palette. Um, it is the NYX In Your Elements Earth Palette, which costs currently $24. NYX has a sale on their website on these. They are all back in stock. These, I think, came out last year, and I really like this palette. It's got a bunch of earth tones, of course, <laughs> which is just perfect for the seasons. It's got a bunch of leaf colors, and it's just very nice palette and I like this one a lot. It's a lot of good looks. I could have actually done this look today with this palette because a lot of the tones that I used are in this palette too. So a lot of the palettes are going to have like these types of tones because I think those are perfect for fall. So this one, which is currently $24 on Nix's website. It's on sale. I think after these are done, the palette's going to be back into either the vault or discontinued. I don't know. It was discontinued earlier but they brought it back so they might bring it back again. I don't know. Next palette is the Naked Urban Decay Naked Heat palette which is $54 but often these like this one I've seen go on sale a few times. This one I do like it. It kind of matches my hat. Also you could probably make this look also using this palette using these type of shades but this palette I do find even though the tones are perfect uh, sometimes it kind of all just blends together and looks like one shadow. Not that it's a pro like massively bad. It's just an annoyance sometimes, but I do like the tones of this palette and I do definitely think this is a good fall palette. So that's that one. Next is the big boy, which is my the Morphe 35O palette. Um, I actually have it the two that are separated out into shimmer and matte. This one is the shimmer palette. I do have the matte one as well, which I do think is perfect for fall as well. It's just matte versus shimmer. As you can tell, this one's all shimmers. But the matte is basically all same colors, but just not shimmers. And I really like this palette. It's probably my go-to favorite for the fall. And as you guess, it's not the palette I did for this look. You could use it though. I like this look. But this guy is a staple, and they do have a version where they're, the mattes and the shimmers are mixed together. I just like having all of these tones separated and then having a shimmer of every tone. So that's why I have this because it's kind of like my go to palette. So, as you tell, it's very messy because <laughs> I use it way too much. Um, next is one of the palettes I used today, which was the ColourPop Good Sport palette which is their new fall from their fall edit collection from this year so this is available and this guy is $16. Oh I didn't mention this guy here. Uh, this is $23. If you get just the full one mixed together. This guy's $16. Um, this guy I used basically just these two tones from the palette for this look. Oh no I also use this one too. Is three from this palette. Which is just not perfect. This is like also perfect. And I love this tone. This tone is so gorgeous. Here, let me just swatch it real quick. It's like pumpkin spice goodness. Oh, I just love that shade. Not gonna swatch it with my hand. <laughs> Try to off my hand real quick so it's not. weird. <laughs> Next is actually an ASOS exclusive and that is the NYX Rebel with a Cause. This is the other palette I used to create this look. This guy is, I said, 
Base house exclusive, and it's gonna cost twenty five dollars. Yeah, twenty five. It's got a bunch of tones, but there's also like some other tones, like there's a pop of a blue in here that doesn't really fit with the fall, but the rest are, but this is kind of fun to play, put into it. This is actually a green maroon shift when you play with it. It doesn't look like it here, but it actually is maroon. I can swatch that one too for you guys. I kind of like it, as I said, it's like a brownish tone to put to the green shift. Kind of maroon, so definitely fall. I really like it. I use this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, and this sh not that shade, that shade for this look. So this is the main palette that I used for this look. I don't know if you guys want a tutorial or something similar to this. I basically just followed the Nikki tutorial um, video when I was doing this. Uh, next we have Clairpop Give It To Me Straight. This is your very berry tones for the fall. Kind of like in the modern renaissance or what and wild bros in the air. This guy is also $16. Very pretty. Very nice. Uh, next we have the Tartlet in Bloom, which is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I just can't go any season without this palette. This one is very fall. This guy is $40. And then this guy I don't use a whole lot. It is very fall, and this is the Tartlet Toasted palette. Way more fall than the In Bloom, but I use the In Bloom way more often than I use the other one. But this one is definitely that fall tone. I don't know why I don't reach for this one as often, but this one's very fall, so I'm gonna try reaching for a bunch. These are actually all palettes that I just have staying on my desk for the entire season long, so that way I can force myself to actually use more than one palette. So that's what I'm doing. So if you see like very similar color tones, that's why I'm kind of doing a pan project versus getting a bunch of new palettes constantly. Next, as you can see this one, this is the newest one, which is a NYX Mechanis Grind Palette. This guy is $25, just like the ASOS. I think this is limited edition, but it's a brand new collection for them. I cannot get it open. And that's this guy right here. Which is very similar to this guy. So let me pull them both up. So here's Rebel with a Cause, and here is the Grind. They look very similar. They're not, because there's a bunch of tones that are different, but they're very similar. But I love them both, so. Uh, next, also from the Mechanist. Um, collection is the shade this palette ignite which is also $25 this has got all of your red tones in it I use these two palettes in my last video which was me turning myself into a weird creep clown inspired by milk 14.2 and I had a lot of fun doing that so use that palette for it mainly this one a little bit of grime Next up, we have Makeup Revolution um, Reloaded Palette. This is the palette Division, which I think is a dupe for the Subculture Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which you could also swap out and put it in as a fall type of tones because it's got a lot of these tones in it. Actually, it's pretty much this entire palette, but I didn't want to justify spending $42 for a palette that may or may not. No, not 42 Yeah, $42 for a palette that may not work. So I spent $7 on this palette. Which is a little bit chalky, to be honest. That's kind of how Makeup Revolution's shadows are. But I like the tones enough of this that I don't mind it. So, I guess if you want to tap a a look or a tutorial using any of these palettes, you guys can see I can start to pop. Stack up quite a palette. Quite a thing here. And... The last one, which I don't have in front of me, it's somewhere in my collection, I need to go grab it, which is the Morphe Ring the Alarm eyeshadow palette. I'll put a picture right here. This is from the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. That guy is $15, and as you guessed it, it's got all the same tones you just saw from all the other palettes, but 
I do think it is a very good palette. So let me guys know in the comments down below what kind of fall or autumn palettes you guys think are perfect for the season. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, as always, all this makeup was cruelty free. Which is all my own money. Not to brag or anything. It's just I like makeup and I like collecting eyeshadow palettes. So I need to stop. That's just why these are all staying on my desk and I need to just go through and use them until they're hitting pan and not just because I dropped them. <laughs> but yeah, let me guys know what you guys all think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Please give me a video, video pause up, subscribe to the channel pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!